So today I wanted to talk to you about how to overcome imposter syndrome when growing your spiritual business online. So today I wanted to talk to you about how to overcome imposter syndrome when growing your spiritual business online. First, I'd like to point out and say if you are experiencing imposter syndrome, this is something that is very common at all different levels of your process. So whether you're just starting out or whether you're catapulting yourself to the next level, self-doubt can creep in and you can start to question your own um, wor innate worthiness, your, your skills, your talents, your gifts, whether or not you can actually fulfill what it is you're feeling called to fulfill. So this is natural and this is normal. This is a sign that you're getting out of your comfort zone and expanding. And so welcome imposter syndrome first and foremost when it shows up because it means you are challenging your old version of yourself. Second, I would like to point out, you're actually really justified in having imposter syndrome. And here's what I wanted to say about that. Oftentimes we have imposter syndrome because we are afraid of being judged. We are afraid of being ridiculed or we are being afraid, we're afraid of being found out as not good enough for what it is that we are, you know, feeling called to create or feeling called to do. This is part of why imposter syndrome creeps in. And so when you're thinking about imposter syndrome as it relates to fear of judgment or fear of criticism from others, first and foremost, you have to recognize the part of you the smaller self, the personality self, is the one that is vested, invested in whether or not other people like you or agree with you or care what you have to say. Your higher self, your divine self, the one that already knows what you're feeling called to create and what you're feeling called to share, already knows that you're worthy to share it and knows that you're your gifts are worthy, right? Your divine self already knows all of this and does not need any form of validation. So the part in you that seeks to avoid ridicule, rejection, or, you know, um, judgment from stepping out of your comfort zone and sharing what it is you're truly feeling called to share your message and your gift with the world is the same part of you that also seeks the accolades and the validation and the likes and the hearts on your posts. The divine self in you, the one that is calling you to create this from the get-go in the beginning, you know, does not need the validation and is not afraid of the ridicule or judgment. The divine self knows that everybody is on their own path and wherever they happen to be is exactly where they need to be, whether or not they agree with you or not. And your job is actually not here to convince anybody. Your job is to share your gift and your message and shine your light so brightly that you are living by the light of your own example, by what is true for you in the moment and continuously expanding on what your own version of truth is and letting the naysayers say what they want, letting the haters say what they want. And you know what? Letting the ones that give you the high fives and the hearts and the comments and all them say what they want because your job is not to be here to be liked. And it's not to avoid being ridiculed. It's not a popularity contest to begin with. And so if you find yourself suffering in imposter syndrome, questioning your own gift, questioning your message that you're here to share with the world and questioning what you're feeling called to create because you're afraid other people are going to call you out 
I can tell you they definitely are going to try to call you out. When you step on the path, when you step on the path as an initiate onto the path of divine service and you are here as a light worker, teacher and healer to help raise consciousness and to step into, you know, step into not leading others but leading by your own example, being the the taking the lead in your, on your own journey. And following your own truth and the divine truth, the ultimate truth that comes to you, that you know in your heart of hearts, in your soul, what is actually true. And aligning with that in the moment. When you do that, not everybody's going to agree with you. you know, I'm recording this video on the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, which is said to be ushering in this age of Aquarius as we enter literally a new paradigm. Well, how do you lead your own light on your own journey, right? Into a new paradigm for others to decide whether or not they want to join you. You don't do it by worrying about what other people think. And so if you are overly attached or attached at all to what other people think, whether that be quote unquote good or quote unquote bad, you have to detach from needing that validation and or trying to avoid the ridicule because you will get it. You will definitely get it. And the more you shine your light and the more you stand in your truth and the more you follow your uh, step into your own alignment and share what it is you're feeling called to share and share your message and share your gift, you're going to hit all kinds of resistance and turbulence. And this is by design. Because you are going to be calling to you everything that keeps you from aligning with your own source. Because you are ultimately on the path to oneness. We all are. But as a light worker, teacher, and healer, you are shining your light, leading by example, coming into a state of inner um, union, and coming into oneness consciousness or Christ consciousness, however you want to refer to it, at your own speed, on your own path and journey. And as you do that, everything that you cling to that is of the se separation, uh, that is of the egoic driven mind, that is fear-based or that keeps you clinging to external things, whether that be opinions of others, materialistic things such as money or accolades such as being viewed as quote unquote successful, these things will become coming up for you to be reevaluating, reframing and giving you the opportunity to know yourself in the physical world, in this 3D physical world from a new perception as the divine being that you truly are, as the divine essence of who you truly are, witnessing that first in yourself and then in others. So think about it. If you are stuck judging yourself, you are automatically perceiving yourself through the eyes of the smaller self. And how does this relate to building a soul aligned business, which is obviously what I teach? Well, in order to build a soul aligned business, you have to come more into alignment with your soul. Your soul is not concerned with who cares about your message or your gift. Your soul doesn't need the validation or the accolades. And your soul definitely doesn't need to um, run away from rejection or judgment. Your soul just is. The essence of you that knows the truth that you are receiving, the essence of you that is, you know, channeling through this wisdom. This is to be expressed through you as life, as your life, as your life example that you lead for others. And the soul is not attached. The soul is neutral. And so if you find yourself if you say, oh, I, I don't suffer from imposter syndrome, but then you catch yourself being overly attached to who's liking your post or feeling really good when someone likes your post and then letting that sort of boost your ego, right? Of course, you have a personality self. 
and you have an ego and we all do and we need one to some degree to survive right now in this 3D experience which we all agreed to which is we agreed to have this experience with our ego right but when you are perceiving everything through the eyes of the of your personality self instead of from a higher perspective then you are seeing things through let's say a clouded vision right so i just wanted to expand on this a little bit part of the imposter syndrome that you're that's keeping you stuck and keeping you afraid of sticking your neck out keeping you playing small keeping you afraid of taking the leap um this is justified you're going to hit resistance you're going to have naysayers you're going to have haters you're going to have people say that you are terrible and evil for charging for your gift uh, for creating a life that is sustainable so that you can do your mission work full time. There are people that are going to say you're literally channeling the devil. There's always going to be someone saying something. You have to be so strong in your truth and so strong in your knowing and so committed to your calling that you are not swayed by the naysayers. And I want you to think, you know, Oprah has naysayers. You may or may not like Oprah. I happen to like Oprah. And I think she does some amazing work as well. And she has naysayers. So I want you to recognize that no matter what stage of the game you're in, if you are shining your light brightly and standing out of the crowd, there will be other people that ridicule you, judge you, uh, point fingers, or try to knock you down, or have an opinion about something that you're doing. And if you're on the receiving end of that and you're being affected by that and you're attached to how people are responding to you, you are viewing your message and your business and your gift and everything that you're creating through the eyes of the smaller self and you are not really fully trusting and owning the path that you're on. And that doesn't mean that you're like consciously doing that. It just means that when you catch yourself doing that, you bring yourself back through present moment awareness to who you truly are because as long as you are in alignment with your highest intentions and you are here to uplift and you're here to help and you're here to elevate and you're coming with aligned intentions that are of the highest and greatest good for all involved and not feeding simply your personality, ego, smaller self, then you will be in alignment with your highest calling, the highest version of you at this point in time, depending on where you're at, at your state of consciousness at the time that you are watching this video. If you are allowing your personality, ego-driven self to drive the train, to make your decisions, to set your intentions, then the universe is there's that's fine but you're going to be receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities and life experiences to help you shift that so i hope this video finds you well if you have any questions or comments i'd love to hear from you um please leave them below this video wherever you happen to be watching it and if this really resonated with you and you want to create a soul aligned business that also gives you the freedom and flexibility to live your most amazing life while doing what you love, being in service and making a massive impact in the world, and you're looking for mentorship or coaching to help you get there, then I welcome you to take the Soul Aligned Success Masterclass below this video. And if that resonates with you, then you will be invited to um, hop on a 60-minute strategy session with me where I help you map out your own blueprint. So if this is interesting to you, check it out. And I hope this finds you well. And until the next episode, namaste.